Hi guys, I'm Nathan's mom and welcome to my channel. For this video, we're gonna review my new brush set that I just recently bought. Um, just a disclaimer, I'm not a makeup expert. I actually just started to learn to do makeup and I'm really enjoying it. So I'm really, really excited to try this one out. So this is AOA Studios Plush Fall Mink Brush Set. So this consists of 10 full-size, super soft, vegan brushes. So I'll just show it to you guys. So each brush actually came with this plastic. Um, so let's just, I haven't used this one yet. So um, it's not that heavy and you can see the print here. Well, it's not really a print, it's embossed. It says, it says AOA Studio F21 USA. So I'm not sure if this is the legit one, but it, that's really like the challenge of, you know, purchasing stuff online, especially on Shopee. Um, by the way, if you haven't seen my Shopee haul, I will put a link up here and also down on the description box so you could check some of the items that I've also bought aside from this brush set. So that's really just the challenge. One of the challenges in buying online is you're not really sure if it's authentic. Um, although some of the sellers really put it out there that it's authentic, 100%. So hopefully it is. So this is really soft as, the, as, you know, as they claim it to be soft. It doesn't really... It doesn't really smell bad. It kind of smells like um, the scent of a department store when you go in. <laughs> the scent of new products, I think. So yeah, it doesn't lo look and feel cheap. Um, by the way, I got this for um, 723 pesos. The regular price is actually 850. And since I got this during the 11.11 sale, so I had like this a discount. So F21, this is the plush face brush. This is used for like powders. And then let's check out this one. This one is F22. So this is like a plush angled brush. So this is used for contour. Smells the same. Let's remove the brush. This is F23. This is the flat top foundation brush. Here you go. Okay, so this is for the foundation. And then we also have F24. So F24 is plus, oh sorry. So we also have F24, this is plush blush brush. So this is for the blush. Okay. And now we also have F25. So this is the plush highlighting brush. So this is for the highlight. So one thing I noticed is like Marsha Kiwi, no? There you go. So it has five um, face brushes and also five for the eyes. So I really like it because it's all black. And black is really like my favorite color. It's my happy color. <laughs> So moving on, we have, this is already for the eyes. This is E135. This is eye blending brush. So this blends shadows and concealer. There you go. And then next, we have E136. This is their tapered blending brush. This is used to diffuse um, Crease and blend shadows. There you 
go. Then moving on, we have E, what they call this? Sorry, E137. This is called a shader brush. So it says that it's it also you it's also used to blend shadows and concealer. So I think I can use this to put the concealer. So I'm not yet sure, so we'll find out later. And then this one is E138. This is a detail brush. No, no, a detail shader for accurate blending and detailing. So it's like it's like an angled brush, right? Like a small angled brush. Yeah. And then last one is E139 or the smudge brush. So this is ideal for smoking out water and lash line or just to pop a color on the inner corner of your eye. So yeah. So these are the five eye brushes and five face brushes. Yeah. So I've already done my skincare. I also moisturized my lips. So to start, I'm going to use this um, primer from L'Oreal. This is their True Match Blur Cream um, Primer. Because, you know, they say that you need to use a primer before applying foundation. So that way the foundation really doesn't get into the pores and it also gives like that blur effect so that you know the the pores won't really like show or won't be that visible so let's now i'm going to use l'oreal's infallible stay 24 hours stay fresh foundation so I don't usually wear foundation. Um, this is actually the first foundation that I bought. Um, I bought this together with this one and my correcting, what do you call this? Correcting palette, color correcting. So this is in shade 115 Nude Beige. Um, I think this one is a bit lighter. Um, than my um, skin tone but I remember when I bought this I actually had no idea how to swatch foundation at that time so I actually just asked the sales lady to help me and I told her that it's like my first time buying a foundation and I'm just starting to learn makeup so she was very nice and helpful that's why I kind of bought like a lot from her um, so she gave me this shade because the next one next one would be darker on my face so see so i'll just put it here i'll try two pumps and i'm going to use the foundation brush which is f23 okay so this is the first time i'm doing this okay how do they do this so i just put this in no okay go cool. okay So also follow what I see on Instagram. <laughs> they just drop it here. Diva. So let's see if this works. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay. So this is like literal review for a, a noob. A newbie. Okay, so. Oh my god, I think I'm so white. Is this how it's supposed to be? I'm so white. <laughs> okay. It's okay. So the brush isn't really working for me and the foundation is also not working for me. As you can see, my whole face is so white. 
and the brush is like just giving me lots of lines and streaks see I'm not sure if you can see it let me just zoom it in look it's like giving me all the lines this is this is really not my shade at all like super not super not my shade see girl no matter how i blend this out this is just really not my shade okay this isn't working out for me so i'm just gonna get my blender and try to save this oh first brush is already like a fail so i'm kind of like hesitant to use the rest of the brushes okay guys so now let's continue um so the beauty sponge kind of like saved it uh, i think i might have put too much foundation on the brush because if i do this you know there's still like product in here um so for this one i think it it like gave streaks and lines so i'm not sure of this not liking this one so far so now um what am i gonna do next i'm just gonna do my brows first i'll be back now time to do the eyes using the eye brushes so hopefully they work fine i'm um, okay so which one will i use first E135, which is where is E135? E135. This one. This is a the big blending, right? So maybe I'll try using this tapered. I'm gonna use um E136, the tapered brush. So I'm gonna use this one. And I'm going to be using um, Maybelline's The Blush Nudes. Okay, so I'm going to use this shade. And I'm going to color my entire lid. So, where's my... So sorry, I'm going to use my brush. So, color entire lid. Eye area. This one, I'm gonna use um, 138, like the angle brush, just for my crease. So I'm gonna use this brown ish shade for my crease. Okay. Do that. And I'm also gonna go back to the tapered brush using the same shade and put it in the middle of my lid there you go 138 of oh, this one i'm gonna go back to 138 and i'm gonna use this darker brownish shade for the outer corner of my eye i'm oh, sorry So I'm just gonna line like a V here. And then I'm gonna use this smudge brush, um, E139, the smudge brush for my lower line and also here. So I'm gonna use this color. And then I'm gonna go get my lustrous um, Calypso palette and I'm gonna go get the fish shade like a reddish shade and I'll put this in the middle and also a bit on my crease and I'm also going to go back to the smudge brush, 139, and I'm going to get this one. And I'll put some here. Just to give it a bit of light. And 
also on the crease. Here you go. And I'm gonna go back to this one on the tapered brush. And I'm gonna get the copper-ish shade. And I'll also put it here in the middle. And then getting the smudge brush. No, no, the... Which one was it? Yeah, smudge brush. I'm gonna get this light, light pink. And I'll put it inside. Here uh, and also on the inner corner of my eyes. There you go. I know this looks weird. So let's blend this out. I'm gonna use the E135 versus E135. This one to blend everything out. And now I'm going to use my K Tokyo eyeliner. Let's do this. L'Oreal slash Paradise. I also have my contour brush. So I'm gonna start off with this shade. Um, this is like a lighter brown shade. So let's do this. Now, I think last step is probably highlight. So, which one is the highlighting brush? F25. Let me just look. Also, oh, this is F25, the highlighting brush. So, still using Nadine Lustra's. Um, so, which one? I'm gonna use the gold one. So, it does pick up a lot of product compared to the free brush that I got from the Lustra's kit. I'm just gonna put it here and then I'm going to get the smudge brush um, this is E139 I'm gonna put a highlight at the inner corner of my eyes so using the white one the white highlight I'm gonna put it here also on the other eye And I'm just going to set everything with powder. And I think that's it. That's it, right? Have we done everything? Yeah, I think that's it. So this is my final look. Using the AOA Studio. Um, what do you call this again? AOA Studio Plush Foaming Brush Set. So as you know, I'm not really an expert. So I'm still trying to do different makeup looks and still learning different tricks. But morning na kaya sa ko powers na look. So um, overall, I think the brushes were, are actually good. So I kind of like it. Um, I think um, as you have seen on the first part, kanilang jud wakwakabong sa buhat ko nani. It it really gave me like that streaks, that line. Maybe I'm just not doing it properly. So I'll try to research more and try it again. And also um, maybe because of the foundation that I used, because it's the wrong shade. It was too white, and I probably put a lot. Um, but out of all the brushes, this one is like my least favorite. So this is the last on the list. Um, my favorite one is probably the contour brush. And maybe some of the eye, and maybe all the eyeshadow brushes because I never really, if you've seen on my birthday makeup um, video, I will link it somewhere. Um, I've only used like one. 
eyeshadow brush for everything but now I have like five so hopefully I could really learn more you know learn to do um, more eyeshadow looks so I think that's it thank you for watching guys um, I will still review some of the items that I got from my Shopee haul so I'll definitely see you on the next video thank you for watching bye